everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a deconstructed bloom on it. And I'm excited because I did receive from Color Art their new primary elements, the uh, Rustic Autumn series. And I'm using quite a few of those and only two regular uh, paints. So my base coat is going to be Glidden Essentials Semi-Gloss White. I used four cups of the paint and one quarter cup of GAC to prevent um, cracking and crazing. So let's go over my colors. Like I said, I only have two regular paints. This first paint is a paint I call Mysterious. I made it myself with four different types of paint. My next paint is Blick Bright Aqua Green, real pretty color. And then we're gonna start with the primary elements. The first one is called Enchanted Forest. And I'm hoping I'm going to be showing you just all that really bright bling in these paints. Enchanted Forest. The next one is Spiced Plum, very pretty color. The next color is Rustic Earth, real deep brown color, Rustic Earth. The next color is Mahogany, and this is to die for. This color is just beautiful. Next color is Pinky Swear. My next color art primary element is Azure Moon. The next one is Ceylon Cinnamon. I hope I'm saying that right. Ceylon Cinnamon. The next color is Oceanus. My next color is Eucalyptus. This is a really pretty deep green. Excuse me for hitting the camera there. Oceanus. And my last color is Chrysocolor. And I understand this was a paint before they made it into a primary element. And I will list in the description where you can get these primary elements at. It's uh, at Color Art. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put down my base coat. I'll bring you back and then we're going to start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my Gluten Essentials White with the GAC. And I forgot to mention that I will need a cell activator after I get all my primary elements and my paint down. And that is going to be three parts of the Australian Floetrol and one part of um, Amsterdam Lamp Black. That's what I'm using today. So let's get, and as far as pouring medium for the uh, primary elements in the paint, that's all going to be in the description. And I got my inspiration from Tammy Anderson of Tammy Anderson Art. So if you get a chance to watch uh, Tammy's channel, do that. I got all the recipes for my pouring medium for these primary elements and my paint from Tammy. So I, I'm deciding on three, um, three blooms here today. And what I'm going to do after I get all my paint down, I'm going to blow them out and then I'm, do some spinning and then I may um, work with my skewer
do a little doodad here and there on them just to give them a little little extra interest just checking what paints I want to use next here this is that color mysterious that I made up And this is the Blick Bright Aqua Green. This is that Rustic Earth. Very, very pretty brown color. And let's go with some Azure Moon. Looks like I may have used some Azure Moon. So let's go with Oceanus. This is the Oceanus color. And let's go with some Spiced Plum. Such a very, very rich plum color here. And we'll go with some Pinky Swear. And let's use some of this Ceylon Cinnamon. And Mahogany. And I think I, I may have used all my colors up here. Put a little more spiced plum on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cell activator on top. I'm going to stop the camera and then bring it back because I am going to fast forward the next part. So bring you back in a minute. Okay, everybody. Here I am blowing out the paint. And for this segment of the... Uh, video I am doing a voiceover because I've sped it up uh, times three here. Um, I'm adding a little bit more of the cell activator on that on that one flower there and uh, blowing it out a little more. Just doing a little spinning here. I used a straw on that one um, bloom there just to uh, add a little extra on the uh, outside of it and here you can see I'm just doing some tipping just to uh, get the composition the way I like it and now I'm using my uh, skewer here and popping bubbles first of all and now is where I start to just play with the painting drawing my skewer through all the blooms adding some loop-de-loops and wiggles and squiggles and all kinds of stuff here just to add interest I really had fun doing that 
I'm really happy with the way this painting turned out. Those colors are just beautiful together. Just drawing out the paint here. Pretty happy with how this all turned out. And I hope you enjoy watching all of this. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I am showing you the whole painting. Um, this painting has some really, really beautiful areas here. Here is the upper left-hand corner, and I'm just going to slowly take you down the left-hand side here. Just, just beautiful, these... Uh, Color Art Primary Elements, they played so well together. That mahogany, that is just the most beautiful color. You can see where I did play a lot with my skewer. Just to give the painting a little more interest, this is the lower left-hand corner. And we will take you up the middle. I had quite a bit of fun here, as you can see with my skewer making all kinds of loop-de-loops and just adding a lot of dimension to it. Cinnamon color, beautiful. This is a nice area right here. Just going over to the upper right-hand corner here. Just really pretty in here. Those are nice effects in there. And we're coming upon what I think is the most beautiful part of the whole painting. This is part of it. The effects I got and also in here. I just think that is so pretty. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.